Beth and I are just gonna head out for a walk today. We decided to walk down to Club Coamo, which from Cuatro Palmas is about four or five kilometers, then walk back and we'll do some video of what we see along the way. This is a map of uh, the Veradero Peninsula. So that's uh, the mainland on the left and that's the downtown Veradero city itself. We're staying at Cuatro Palmas here. And then uh, you can shoot all the way down the peninsula. It's about 20 kilometers to the end, and that's where the marina is. First stop at a and this one? market. $15. Nice. There are dozens and dozens and dozens of these booths. But the nice thing about Cuba compared to most countries is people are not pushy here. They don't push the stuff on you and you can wander around quietly. These spoons are really worth getting, they last forever. Trust me from experience. This is uh, the, one of the double-decker buses that go up and down the peninsula all day long. I think it's $5 a day and you can jump on, jump off wherever you like and it covers the whole 20 kilometers of the peninsula. Great idea if you're here for the first time. typical children's play park in Cuba. It's a big shopping plaza. Never actually been inside it. We're on a hunt for a banyos. Well now, let's see how this is. So how would you rate that uh, Banyos experience? It was a release. <laughs> Pretty clean though? Yeah, fine. This is still underneath that uh, shopping plaza. It's actually really very nice. Yeah, and it's cooler because it's all underground. So it's a nice place to cool off certainly worth walking around. I have the best mercancy for you. Yes. This is uh, for, for the kitchen. Yes. And this is Granadillo special wood of Cuba. Let me show you. Yeah, thanks. It's the same wood. Very yeah. strong. You see? That looks fantastic. I know we've uh, used uh, similar spoons for years in Canada and they've worked really yeah. well. Another thing for the kitchen. Okay. For sugar, sad. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Little and drinks. Nice. Yeah. And all made in. For small. And some of it's made out of cocoa, did you say? Cocoa? Uh, is this one? This is palm. Oh, uh, yeah. palm. Sorry. I... It's, 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 it's the same. And is that. Not it? the same, but it's the same. It's not as hard as the granito? Not as hard? No. Oh, no. No. Wait. Oh, okay, but that's okay. I do like the granito. Yeah, I think that's nice. This is best. And this is jaruba. Jaruba? Another yeah, wood. Also very good. Another wood. Beautiful. Well, thanks so much for showing us everything. Well, thank you. It's a pleasure. Take care. Bye. Go! Showtime. This is a 43 Street. This is a wood one here. Right. This old farm cedar wood one that oh. you can put anything 18 months in those or two years and a half. This part, this part. This one is printed, made for my boss. <laughs> I don't have talent for nothing. 
This is made for my boss. No, this is plenty. No, it's chicken. Yes. And this one is a hickey yeah. wood. The mask is made with hickey. Okay. The guy that made this one, they take a photo and never repeat the same. Can you show me how you open a magic okay, box? Ahead, no, you don't have to show me the secret, but you show me how you open it. Okay. Give it a try without. You can you can try in any corners. Just top on the bottom. <laughs> top on the bottom. That's, That's the it. trick. That's the trick. Well, I got to tell you, we've had a couple of magic boxes okay. and a domino set at home, That's and they're really fantastic. That's good. You got if you got a Cuba, you got to get that. I have a good friend in Toronto. He come in from one my box every year here. Oh yeah. Probably you know my friend in Toronto. No. Yes, yes. There's five million if people. If I say the name, you know who. Oh, who is, my is that? Wendell Clark. Oh, I know Wendell Clark. The seventeen. He comes here every year. Let's play. Yes. A lot of people famous coming to my store. Oh, well, he's I famous mean, Shapira, already. You know, Beyonce. Wow. You know, a lot of people, yes. This is one of the typical uh, pina colada stands. See these all over town, and they are good. This is a Pan America store. It's a Cuban dollar store, so the Cubans load their Canadian and Euro currencies onto a debit card, and then they can buy things in this store, which is priced in American dollars. That's a solar water heater for $216. Quite a lot of bicycles and some ovens and stoves. Big screen TVs, 75 inches, wow. But uh, for Cubans to have the kind of money it takes to do this takes a lot of tourist dollars. So this is uh, what's sort of considered luxury goods in Cuba. Of course, we just consider this normal things to buy in a supermarket. Prices seem more or less what we'd expect to pay in Canada or America for the same items. But again, Cubans don't make that same kind of money. All right, so you've got, uh, is that a photograph that you're working from? Yes. Yes. And then you're drawing, you're painting with uh, India ink or is it the ink, India ink, a black indigo black ink? Black and white, all in black and white. Beautiful. Like that one. Is that a scene from Havana? That's Havana. Yes. Okay. Ideally, you don't want to have to go to a Cuban bank to get money. The lineups are famously long. So I always recommend the people coming down here bring lots of cash. For Canadians, bring a credit card. For Americans, get an MLC debit card at the airport, and you won't have to stand in a lineup like that to get cash. Some pretty flowers. Nice garden. This is one of the Veradero landmarks, the pirate ship bar. It's really well done. And there are toilets here, so that's good to know. It's actually the yeah, this tree provides a ton of shade. It's one of the newer attractions in Verdera. They were building this last year when we were here in January 2022. Looks like we have some models here. There it is, beautiful Veradero Beach. I think it should be a beach day today. Maybe when we get back after lunch. Yeah, this looks nice, doesn't it? It does. It's another uh, tienda store, more of a grocery store. Like water. So, the rum. Typical. Liter for fifteen dollars US. And some wine. 
for some pretty high prices. I'm glad I'm not drinking wine here. And then more of the standard household goods. So we walked about six kilometers from uh, Starfish Quattro Palmas, where we're staying this year, down to the western end of uh, the city here, the town of Veradero, to Hotel Guama, where we stayed last year for a couple of weeks. And uh, it's been completely renovated since last year. All new furniture and beautiful tiled floor. There's a nice uh, bar here by the pool that we spent a lot of time sitting at, having a drink, and it's been refreshed enormously. And it still has the uh, beautiful sort of kidney-shaped pool. And it seems very peaceful and quiet here. I like it. Yes. This is where we stopped to have a drink after about 10 kilometers of walking. I'm going to show you a few places that we found. Um, it's on the road that's uh, just across from the ocean, so off First Avenue and between 42nd, Calle 42 and Calle 43. This is Casa de la Musica, so this is famous for uh, its uh, live music and drinks and uh, a good hot spot for the evening. And then this place, I think, is my favorite. Factoria Veradero at 43rd Ave, Calle 43. And it's, uh, it's actually a brew pub, which is not a common thing for Cuba. So there's the drink prices. You see, it's spectacular. So that's where they through the different beers. I'll talk to our friends out front again and ask them about the prices, but uh, I love this place already. So we met a, a couple of guys from the Czech Republic. And they're just traveling around Cuba. So here's my, here's my wife chatting up our new friends. And how much was the beer? 80 pesos. 80 pesos. 50 cents. 50 cents US, about 80 cents Canadian. And it's good. It's nice, yeah. The, the, the clara is better than the dark. All right. It'll be clara for me. Of all the Cuban cars that you see, these uh, old station wagons converted into uh, buses are got to be one of the coolest things. Isn't that amazing? Lots of seats. Space for luggage. It's a Cuban activity center. Is it going faster? This is the largest park in Veradero Park, Yoson. And uh, I'm not going to go in it today, but uh, it's got some amusement rides and uh, some beautifully kept grounds and a whole lot of stuff to see and do. There's a bit of a sign describing some of the things you can do. Cuba is really into the Beatles. There's lots of statues in Cuba commemorating the Beatles, Lennon especially. And there they are, the boys. On the main street, the classic cars are always uh, a feature on the road. This is a store for books, and art, and music. Let's see what they got inside.
Hola. Hola. Fast to see. Real artisanal shop for making pottery. Some happens for the clay. Some of the work that they made. And this ceramic, uh, ceramic shop. And art. See that right there? It was $80. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Hola. Hola. You make everything here? <laughs> Beautiful. This is the shopping district called Calle 62 or 62nd Avenue. And it just continues on. This is the, one of the fancier stores. So that hike clocked in at just a little over 12 and a half kilometers and uh, hopefully we can get in for our lunch before they close the lunch restaurant. Hope you like the video.